If you are in a rush to start a hunt, this is perhaps the quickest spawn to get to, the hive surface. This spawn is what I consider an alternative spawn, if you want to try something else that is not the best experience or profit, but is good enough. To get here, you gotta travel to Grey Island from the boats of Edron, Benor or Darasha. Once at the island, go down the hole and follow the cave and enter the vortex in the water. This will teleport you to the actual island. The spawn is on the other side of this mountain by going through the stairs here, and the spawn is technically the entire surface. So as you can see, it takes seconds to reach the spawn, and the best thing is that in the mountain there is an NPC called a rock in a hard place, where you can resupply and also sell most of the loot from the monsters in here. And also, at the middle of the island, there are stairs that take you into the depot and a temple. To hunt in this spawn, I recommend over level 70 and to not go past this line, doing a lap around the west side. Also, it's important to always cast your set arrest spell, even if you're solo, because almost all of these monsters run away on low HP, and they can get away really fast. Also, be careful when having wasp boys on you, as they can do some nasty combos. Same goes for crawlers, they both hit harder than the average monster on this level. As for the reason to not go to the east side, is that in here you will encounter high ports that summon lesser swarmers, a weaker version of swarmers in terms of HP but similar in damage. They won't kill you but it's constant summoning and you will already be facing the normal creatures as well, so it's not worth the hassle to deal with these two. If you're wondering about them, they're part of tasks that can be done in order to gain points in the war against the hive quest, and also to increase the amount of actions taken against the hive in that day. If 200 tasks are done on the day, then it unlocks the other parts of the hive on the next server save. However, those are for higher levels and nothing you should be worried about yet. Now back to the spawn, here the experience you can expect is around the 450k on green or 300 on yellow, on a night with basic imbuements and low skills. In terms of money, it can vary and is definitely better on older servers with a demand for crawlers heads. This is a creature product used for energy protection imbuement and the price depends on the demand on your server. Also, there is a very rare drop which is the grasshopper legs. You can loot it from the wasp boys and crawlers, and these tend to be over 100k, but since they are a very rare drop, don't come with high expectations. This spawn is more of a place to stay until you're done with bestiary and move on. After 90, the experience will go up as you can clear most of the pools with one rotation, and that speeds things up, but I wouldn't say it's going to be a top choice for that level range. With that said, that's what I got for this one. If you want more options to hunt, check out my playlist for solo nights and please subscribe to the channel for more content. If you wish to support the channel directly, you could send Tibia coins to good donation. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.